Hey guys, Kerry Sif here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Ride Watch Dizer and Deno Ride Watch from Kamen Rider Geo. This is a display stand that can hold up to 7 ride watches, as well as a new ride watch that can be used for armor time. So, let's get started. First, we'll look at the Deno Ride Watch. This watch is white and red, and on the front we have Deno symbol and the year 2007. If we rotate the face, we get the face of Denno sword form. So then we'll get the two activation sounds on its own. Then the writer description. Riding the train of time. The rider who fights with Imagine is... Deno. Next we can use this watch with the Jiku driver for armor time, starting with Gio. And there we get the transmission for Kaminar Geo Deno Armor. And we get a look at that form. I just take a look at the back of the box. We're going to see Geo Deno Armor. Starting with the head, we have the eyepieces for sword form surrounding the eyes, as well as the forehead plate and the mouthpiece. We have Deno written in Kalakana here. Deno. On the body, we have sword form's chest plate with which goes very well with G.O. since they both have something running down the center of the chest. And then for the shoulder pieces we have the cockpit to the Denliner Goka. As well as you can see that the thighs are colored in that same red color that are on that is on Deno's thighs and so that is a pretty good match. And of course he's doing sword form signature Ore Sanjo pose. Next, we like to wait finish time. And there we get the Oreno time break. Obviously taken from the phrase that Swordform says before he does a finish attack, Ore no Hisatsuaza. Which is interesting because they also could have called it full time break coming from full charge. Then we'll remove the GO ride watch and switch in gates. And then we have the transformation for Kamen Rider Gates Deno Armor. Then we'll like to wait to finish time again. And there we get the Oreno Time Burst. And next we can use the Deno Ride Watch with the Gikan Giraid for the Weapon Finisher.
Next, we'll look at the Ride Watch Dizer. Now, out of the box, the Dizer comes in eight separate pieces, so I've disassembled mine. I'm going to show you guys how to assemble it. So, we'll start off with these six identical pieces. For each one, we're going to attach them on the sides like this, straight, and then fold them inward to interlock them. We'll keep adding to the sides. And as you can see, you want to make sure that you have them kind of held inward just so they don't fall off. Once you have the sixth one attached, you're going to want to squeeze them inward until you can clip the innermost two in place like that. Then you're going to take the top piece and clip it onto the top so it'll lock in place. Then just place it on the bottom. And there we have the Ride Watch Dizer. Now, Dizer is actually taken from the Japanese word Daiza, meaning pedestal. So you could look at this or kind of call it the Ride Watch Pedestal if you want to. So, taking a look at it, you can see it's got a lot of nice molding detail on the top. We have the common writing right here, as well as some nice intricate detail. You can see a wash wrap pattern running down the sides of all of them, going all the way down to the base. Then you got some more kind of technological detailing on the inside of the slots for the ride watches. As you can see, it rotates pretty well with not too much friction, though that also means that it doesn't interlock in place, and there is a reason for that. As far as attaching the ride watches go, the way you do that is that you take the railing that the watch is attached to the build the GQ driver on, and then you just slide in place until it locks in. It's a very secure connection, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. And then you can just pretty easily take it and remove it. So, next we can fill it up with up to seven ride watches. So we'll attach the GO watch to the top. Then we'll put in build, x aid, ghost, drive, cross, and grease. Then putting on here, we can get an idea of what the full thing looks like. So, with this, you now rotate them and pick out which watch you want. Then once you get to it, you can just slide it off. Now, in addition to just the Ride Watch Dizer itself, sold separately are these things called Ride Watch Dizer extension parts, or cockpit parts, as they're written in. And these are basically just the same pieces of the original Dizer, but without the base. And this allows you to actually take the pieces and stack them for extra storage. And this is why the pieces don't lock in place and it's just so that you can attach more segments. As you can see, I have three here, and basically three is the ideal amount you want to get, because that will allow you to put all 19 of the base ride watches on it. Since each one holds seven, it means you have six, 12, 18, and then a 19th on the top. What is interesting though, is that this technically has room for 21 ride watches, as you can still attach ride watches to the top piece of the other two. Then stack those. And have a couple more on the inside. So you have a little bit of extra storage space. You just have to remember that you have them on the inside. And there we go. 
Overall, I think this is a very worthwhile set for both of the pieces. The Ride Watch Dizer is a great way to display Ride Watches because you have them on full display, and adding six in, as you can see here, makes it look very nice and colorful. It also makes it easy to access different ones, remove them, and then place them back on when you're done. And it's also a much more practical way of storing the Gimkai for this year compared to last year's Pandora panels and Pandora box. Whereas, in order to get the minimum amount for displaying all the main items, you just need to get three, as opposed to buying six different panels. And while the total cost is going to be a bit high, it's certainly worth it for just getting the right amount of storage for the 19 standard ride watches. The Deno ride watch is also a very cool one. Deno holds a special place in my heart as the first rider series I ever watched, and for quite a while it was my favorite series. So it's very cool to get the Deno ride watch, and it definitely has a cool sound set, and the Deno armor looks cool as well. So if you're a collector of ride watches, and you're looking for a good way to display them, as well as a good way to have easy access to them, I can definitely recommend picking up the set, as well as picking up a couple of the extension parts to add on to it. Next time, I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Siren Striker, Sunday at 6pm PST. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Karak Sifty, riding off.